Hey guys, alright, we are going to start off with this by opening up Vegas Pro 8.0 right here. Alright, once this loads. I'm gonna sweat a little bit, take a lot of me. This is because I just recently downloaded King Hatter. Yay, so it's gotta read class on me. Alright, now we're going to start a video track. I'm guessing you know between video and audio. I mean, that's pretty easy. Now, you can do delete, stuff like that. Alright, so just start a video track, or you can just drop and drag. Alright, I'm going to use just a video I've already done. No, I'll just do this. This has no sound, so we'll be able to work with it. Just drop it and drag it on the timeline. You can shrink it. This will cut it. Or some of the some of the uh, more basic functions you can do. Splitting. I'm, I'm hoping you all know that. That's where you take one big video clip and split it. So there's two different files. So you just, there's a gap. Um, you can do um, a repeat. Like um, you can fade them together. It just looks like this. Yeah, I'm looking. Oh, I'm lying. All right, I'm just kind of you look right here. You can see it fades in. Just oh my gosh, it's it's gonna kind of slow because I'm, I don't know why. Oh, I see. All right, it's gonna start fading. I right, see it fades in. You can do that. Uh, if you do that on accident, you can just go into view. Video preview that saves mm, almost all of my stuff. And just put it back in here. All right, custom the layout and stuff. If you have um, pull A, which is Vegas A, then it should look like this. Otherwise, it will be different. It will be switch. This will be right there, and this will be up there. It'll be, the the bottom will be up here. Um, I'm gonna give you just a quick rundown of this program. Let's say you wanted, I know you guys know what effects are, let's say you wanted to add a grain. You can choose between extreme grains, these are just presets, you can change them. A color grain, alright, let's just add a color grain right here, you can see that. Alright, if you want to make it so you can almost see the thing, just go down, lower it. And if you don't want it to be colored, just click the monochromatic button, and it should just change it to black and white. If you don't want it to move, you can just keep it like this, it'll just like stay like that. You can see, just close and play. It will it won't move at all, but if you animate it, see it just it moves along with it. A Gaussian noise, it just makes it have little black spots with it, like a TV. Um, deleting them, you can just remove it. Um, it there's keyframing, we won't go into that really right now. Just some of the pr um, programs are you can change it, like change the brightness up if you have a really dull camera or really like high tech and you want it to seem kind of co uh, cool. Contrasting, I mean, that's what I usually do. I don't really work with the brightness much. Um, contrast and center, you can change where it's brightening. Um, if you wanted to add color curves, they have infrared. I like that. See, so kind of just kind of infrared and mess around with it. There's just tons of stuff you can work with in Vegas. Um, if you wanted, I know some people always ask me, what's this? One second, let me get a text media sample text. How did I get um, this? A lot of people have asked me when I was a kid, I wanted, when I was, uh, when I first worked with, started out with the program, I wanted to know. Um, you just go, it's light rays, then you choose which one you want, moderate, weak, intense. Right now we're in intense. Um, if you exit out of that, do you saw what I did? You move this, so you dun 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 dun. I like that box twenty. Respect. <laughs> um, you can do color zooms. You can, and there's just tons of stuff you can do with this, and it's really it makes no difference what it is. You can download plugins, which are other video effects. You just go into, you just have to go into something else. Media effects right here. See plugins. I got Sony plugins. Um. There's just everything you can think of. Uh, lens flares, that's pretty cool. What I got? Do, 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 do. I'll show you in this. I got new um, lens flares. I think everybody's seen those. Yeah, yay, we. You can move that around. You can change the color on it. I actually use this for a school project once. Change the coloring. Why is it not changing? Oh, tint. Change the tint, remember that. 
right, um, intensity, you can change the intensity, make it a little brighter, blending, kind of darkens it, uh, fades it, size, shrink it, I mean, just do whatever you want, perspective, you just don't know where it's going, perspective, changes of light, um, just quickly, you can shrink it, you can slow it, slow it down, and just kind of, you just press control, the control button, and shrink it in, and it'll fast forward it, see, so yeah, 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 yeah. Just kind of moves around. We and then you can also slow it. You can do this with audio too. Um, if you let's see here, explore. Explore is the most important thing to have for me, just because I hate going in having to um import things, even though they really honestly don't need to be imported. All right, here's the final project. Let me just. All right. Um, see. You really don't want to see, hear it. I mean, it's pretty dumb. Um, let's say you have that together. If you don't want that, you can press the U button. It'll move. See? Pretty awesome, huh? Yeah. You can move this along with it. Um, there's just so many things with Vegas. I, I love it. Um, if you were thinking of having a program that's a little more advanced than what you... Like Camtasia. I used to use Camtasia to edit my videos. And then, well, my old computer I did. But... I found I, when I got my new computer, I started using Vegas, and honestly, I like Vegas better, and I like Vegas better than Adobe After Effects. I've used After Effects; it's really good, but it just—I really, honestly, can't say I like it that much. There's there's so much you can do with Vegas, and that's why I like it. I mean, they've got everything you can think of. You can do so much with it if you just have a little bit of imagination. It's really amazing. I've just always been surprised with it. Um, there's tons of programs that out there. I guess everybody knows that. Um, if you wanted to add just anything, really, there's VG. That's the save file. We're gonna. I'm just gonna show you how to save. Here's this um, effect that I have. Now I really don't need it anymore, just because I have particle illusion. If you wanted to save it, just click save as, and it will save the the project file. Now this is the trouble I always had with Vegas when I didn't know. Let's say you wanted to render it, render as. Now the normal preset is really large. So what I did is go to Windows Media Video V9, and I don't know what it is for Macs, I'm sorry. That will make it smaller so you can probably upload it. I didn't do that with one of my programs, and it was a 9-minute video. It was 22 gigabytes, and that's pretty big. So you just transitions, I mean, transitions I had a lot of trouble with. Let's see, um, let's get this. Alright, um, let's say you have transition, you want it right there, and it's like this put them together all right now take this and get it right here now that's not the only thing you have you have to move it in like a fade and then it should go in see now it's kind of slow because this is not the final project right here this is not it just because it's kind of it's really slow um it you really don't want to load it with 3d or anything really big because it will just mess up i'm in the 3d blinds right now you'll see how it just kind of slows down the whole thing it's I honestly can't see it just slows it down it's not that good um, if you wanted an, a linear I mean everybody's they have just normal ones and then there's different ones I mean stop s I'm sorry this is kind of creeping me out of it too all right uh, put that in you can change these that's I like that too Let's see um, I'll show you uh, you can see that paper autisticity then it looks less like paper. Alright, see, so you can just kind of. You can see this. I like to go. When you're doing that, you can click it. But you really don't want to do that personally. Just trust me on that one. Um, you would, I'd I like doing with the, the arrows. The arrows work better. Just because, for time's sake, you can just really go faster than having to click everywhere. And you might end up doing a loop. That always bugged me. Like, if you want to, like, in my Camtasia, you can drag it and select a portion of it. Don't do that. That is a loop, and that's the only part it will render if you do that. And I have lost so much time. Just, if you don't pull back all the way, it's like this or something. If it's just barely there, and you don't even notice it. I mean, sometimes you just don't notice it. Then it will, because it just picks up with you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Alright, I'm William Archer, and I hope you're learning Vegas. I will give you more of a rundown later. Bye.